Welcome back, guys. And today we are going to talk about, we'll listen to the Arctic. The Arctic habitats. And let's see, looking at the front, though, I don't see a whole lot of snow or ice. Do you? Me either. All right. The Arctic. Oops. The Arctic is a habitat. It is at the top of Earth. The Arctic is very cold. There is a lot of snow and ice in the Arctic. Polar bears live in the Arctic. The Arctic Ocean. There is a very cold ocean in the Arctic. It is called the Arctic Ocean. Ice floats on the Arctic Ocean. Some animals rest on the ice. This harp seal is resting on ice. The weather is very cold in the Arctic. There are long, cold winters. Winter lasts for most of the year. In winter, there are blizzards. Blizzards are snowstorms. Blizzards have strong winds. Ooh, look at this side. In the Arctic, summers are short. The weather is not very warm. The snow melts in only some places. Some plants grow in these places. Animals eat the plants. Some animals, such as this grizzly bear, go to the Arctic in summer to eat plants. Hmm, I didn't know there were grizzly bears in the Arctic. And I also didn't know that some parts of the Arctic, the snow melts. Not all of it, but some parts of it. And it's only for a short time during summer. In summer, plants grow in the Arctic. The plants grow close to the ground because strong, cold winds blow. Growing close to the ground helps protect Arctic plants from these wind, winds. Ooh, and there's some pretty flowers too. Some Arctic plants have colorful flowers. This plant is a dwarf willow herb. It has bright pink flowers. It grows only during summer. And it's the part of the Arctic where the snow melts, right? Otherwise, if there was still snow or ice, I don't think it would be growing. Living things need food to stay alive. Plants make their own food. They make food from sunlight, air, and water. Making food from sunlight, air, and water is called photosynthesis. A plant gets sunlight through its leaves. It also gets air through its leaves. A plant gets water through its roots. A plant uses sunlight, air, and water to make food. We're gonna be pros at this by the end of this week. Arctic animals. These animals live in the Arctic. The Arctic is their habitat. The animals find food in their habitat. They also find homes. So we have a snowy owl and Miss Molly's favorite polar bears. An Arctic tern, an Arctic fox, a seal, an Arctic squirrel, and a caribou who looks like a what? He kind of looks like a moose, doesn't he? Arctic animals need to stay warm. Many Arctic animals have thick fur. The fur covers their bodies. This musk ox has thick fur. Fur helps keep the musk ox warm. Many Arctic animals have blubber under their skin. Blubber is thick layers of fat. Blubber helps keep the animals warm. This walrus has blubber under its skin. Do you remember when we were talking about winter and we tried to do one of our experiments with seeing if the blubber we made, did we, I forget what we use, but we put it around our hands and then we put our hands in the cold water, right? And because we were trying to see if blubber really 
helps keep us warm, like it does for the animals. Finding food. Animals must search for food in the Arctic. Some animals eat only plants. Animals that eat plants are called herbivores. Lemmings are herbivores. They eat grass. Om omnivores. Some Arctic animals are omnivores. They eat plants. They also eat other animals. This bird is an omnivore. It eats plants, seeds, and insects. And it, look, it looks like the fox is probably going to go after the bird who's trying to find, or the jackrabbit. There it is. The fox chasing the jackrabbit. All living things need energy. They need energy to grow and to move. Energy comes from the sun. Plants get energy from the sun. Animals get energy by eating food. A lemming is a herbivore. It gets energy by eating grass. Carnivores get energy by eating other animals. An Arctic fox is a carnivore. It gets energy by eating lemmings. So the lemming eats the grass. All right, I kind of have to go. The lemming eats the grass, and then the Arctic fox eats the lemming. Staying safe. Some Arctic animals hunt other animals. The animals that are hunted need to stay safe. Animals stay safe in different ways. Some move quickly. They can run away from other animals that hunt them. This snowshoe hare can run quickly. Hiding out. Some Arctic animals stay safe because other animals cannot see them. This baby seal has white fur on its body. Its fur blends in with the white snow around it. The baby seal is safe because it is hard to see. And another word for that is camouflage, right? Some Arctic animals make homes. They keep warm inside their homes. This mother polar bear has made a home for her and her babies. The home is called a den. The den is in the snow. Many birds make homes called nests. Snowy owls, arctic terns, and other birds make nests. In summer, these birds lay eggs in their nests. Baby birds hatch from the eggs, and the baby birds live in the nest. Look at those eggs. Those are pretty cool looking. I've never seen them so colorful or speckled before. Winter in the Arctic is very cold. It is too cold for some animals. These animals go to sleep. They sleep all winter. They sleep in warm dens. This Arctic squirrel sleeps through winter. The sleeping animals wake up at the beginning of summer. They come out of their dens. They are hungry and they look for food to eat. Wow, so they start sleeping in the winter and they skip over spring and they go straight to summer. Goodness. Some Arctic animals do not sleep through winter. They leave the Arctic before winter begins. They move to warmer places where they can find food. These Arctic terns are flying to a warmer place. So they're migrating, right? They're going somewhere where it's warmer. Caribou groups. Caribou, caribou also leave the Arctic in winter. They leave in big groups. The groups of caribou walk to warmer places. Sometimes they swim across rivers during their trip. How about that? I would have never have known. The end. All right, what do you think? Could you live in the Arctic? I think I would rather live in the Arctic than the forest, but that's Miss Molly because I like to I like polar bears. Tell us what you think, all right? Tell your mom or your dad or whoever is watching you, all right? And I'll see you guys soon.